Hello and welcome back to Conan Exiles. This is a bit of a break from my Isle of Sipsa run through because we have got chapter three of the Age of Sorcery upon us. And there's a lot of things that you can do on the main Exiles map that you can't do on Sipta. Chief amongst them being visiting this place. Not that place, Mechkamosis Spire. Which now becomes very important because Mechkamosis is really upping his game. He's been out collecting sorcerers and their skulls and learning the secrets of wild magic. And he's planning on using what he's discovered to escape from the exiled lands because before he couldn't. Mechkamosis was a very powerful sorcerer back in the world but when he was put into the exiled lands by his arch enemy Thothamon or Tothamon. Once that happened he was like bound to this place because the bracelets all the exiles wear prevented him from using his well using his old magic. He's got the new magic now. But yeah, we're going to go over there to Mechmosis' spire and find out what's happening. And I've just got to remember who I've got following me. All oh, right, I was forgetting I've got a corrupted build. Yeah, so fully corrupted in strength, vitality and authority. And being fully corrupted in authority means that I can't have a second follower. But I get these demons suddenly appearing to help me out. And they're not very good, to be honest with you. <laughs> they're not the best. But I've been managing so far. And being fully corrupted does mean I can use a lot of magic, so... So yeah, let's just get over there. Let's ride out and find out what's happening. Well, we're getting there. I don't know why, but this horse... Bloody hell! Crap. Okay, okay, okay. That wasn't fair game, was it? That was not fair at all. Let's run for it. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know why, but my horse has got very poor health. It's less than half. And it doesn't seem to be recovering either. I don't really understand what's happening there. This horse should be fine. Well, the elephant seems to have forgotten about us, thank goodness. But we've got to get up here. On, up, 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 up. And then round the corner up here. Yes, yeah, so in the old game, Mechamosis' spire used to be this abandoned temple. But now it's all been fortified. So this is going to be absolutely fascinating. We've got some Kitan guards here. Minding their own business. And we've got a princess tied to a slab. Which I'm quite looking forward to seeing. Oh, there we go. Yeah, quite the stunner. Well done, miss. And you are Mr. Mechkekmosis. Talk to you. My plan's near fruition. Okay, yeah, more. Get away from me! <laughs> Get away from me, indeed. The visions came to me, wafting like lotus smoke. The harder I grasped, the more the truths <laughs> eluded the grip of my mind. I had to be very still, melt away all notion of self, and stalk those cagey revelations like the ghost of thought. Yeah, okay. My steaming entrails and divination dripping on a plate. Don't touch me. I saw the end of the exiled lands. A hungry doom, ready to swallow us all. More? But I also saw a way out. By my so potent art, I can harness the coming eclipse and subvert Kurak's workings. Through his madness, he taps into potent forces, true. But his strength is also his undoing. Kurak is chaos, a tangled knot of a thousand serpent heads, devouring a thousand tails. I, on the other hand, am precision. I'm I am control. Good, good. Any more? The preparations are made. Oh, yeah? The altar is ready. Get away from me. When the moon eclipses the sun, I will harness the power of the celestial alignment. I only require more blood crystals. Through my visions, I spied a way to tap into Kurak's transitory stone. It is the only way in and out of his lair. Away now, before all is lost. Ooh. The visions came oh, no, to we've me. done that. Wafting Goodbye. Like smoke. Goodbye, miss. The harder I grasped, she looks like she's in a bit of a pickle, doesn't she? Eluded the grip of my mind. I had to right, we have to get away from this guy. Melt away all notion of self. Come on. Stalk those cagey revelations. You can stop. Like the ghost of thought. There we go. He's shut up now. Right. So Kurak, of course, is the, 
Yes, yes, miss. Yeah, Kurak, of course, is the sorcerer who brought magic to the exiled lands. He arrived in Chapter 1 of the Age of Sorcery. Chapter 2 of the Age of Sorcery was all about Mechkekmosis sending people out to collect skulls and sorcerers to learn their secrets. And here we are in Chapter 3, which is the end game. I'm assuming these are dead sorcerers in here. I don't know, though. You're just a regular guard, I think. You are... Or trader. Right, black blood pick. Don't want that, really. You are just lying there. He's probably had a heavy night. But the guy we want to see, really... Oh, no, sorry. Up here is the transportery stone. And it looks like this will take us, at some point, to the lair of Kurak. At which point we have to presumably cut off his head, which is what Mech was telling us about. So, can I do anything there? It said waiting for data. Open that. So what do I have to do to get it going? Blood crystal. It needs 30 blood crystal to get going. Okay. So we've got to find that. Yeah, blood crystal is a very important new resource. Um, I'm not quite sure how to find it. But you use blood crystal to make things. Open that transportery stone. And also craft golems. Which is a skill that will be taught to us by this person, I think. So there's a golem. No, I think you make the golem pieces on a bench like this. And then you assemble them on that. But we've got to chat to this guy, I think. You Kerrang or something. Oh no, Master Carver Huang. Right, we'll chat with this guy and then learn the golem constructor. Greetings, Wanderer. I suspect an interesting and winding road has brought you to me. I am a sculptor. My current medium is blood crystals. Should you bring me some? I am happy to barter with my skills, such as they are. Okay, more talk. So many disparate and desperate roads lead to the perdition of these exiled lands. Once, in another life it seems, I was an artisan of Kitai. My work displayed in the capital cities and honored with no small amount of praise. Mechamosis has shown generosity to we Kitan. He unites us with the promise of escape. His mind is ruthless but sane. No small feat for one who practices his art. <laughs> May demons tickle your innards. May your mouth fill with something. That's the young lady rather than him. Let's get him to talk some more. A powerful statesman commissioned a statue in his image. I toiled for weeks searching for his likeness, imprisoned in the block of jade. I chiseled, I cut, I perspired. Yet every time I neared completion, the jade shattered inexplicably. After the fifth failure, my patron sent me home in a fit of rage. That night, I was abducted. I awoke here. Ooh. I have seen many oddities in my time here. I now believe my former patron to be cursed. Only a curse could keep me from freeing him from the jade. That's interesting. I wonder who this guy was. Now, like you, like so many others, I am banished to this uncanny prison. Yet, the impossible possibility of escape has manifested. Like his voice. He's a good voice actor, isn't he? Mechamosis requires my hands to craft an altar to his exact specifications to amplify his sorcery that he might open a gateway of egress from this cursed place. Should our gambit succeed, should we escape? I fear we must live in obscurity. I will have to perform my craft anonymously. Even escape is a sort of prison. Well, it's getting quite dark, isn't it? And now the prospect of escape fills me with uncertainty. Should I remain here, life would be dangerous. I could be flayed in my sleep. However, the same is true for me in Katai. Okie dokie. 
So many disparate and okay, that's desperate it. roads um, let's lead come to away the from there. of What's these happening? exiled lands. Because I think there are eclipses in this game rather than night. I think this is just a regular night. No, no, there's an eclipse. Look. Wow. Ooh. Oh, well, that's really interesting. Yeah, night time has been replaced by these eclipse periods. Right, let's chat to you again. Yes, yes. Do you have the crystals? No, no, sorry. Learn. So I've learned Golem Constructor. Goodbye. Farewell, Wanderer. Oh. So where do we find the old crystals? So this is made out of blood crystal here, this thing. And at some point, this poor lady gets uh, sacrificed to do something. I think she's key to the escape, essentially. Yeah, I think once we get Mechmosis' head, <laughs> we can use that together with other stuff to do something. Then she gets sacrificed and we all go home, essentially. But I've got to find some bloody blood crystals now, and I have no idea how to do that. There is a spell, however, called Find Resources that might offer us some clues. Well, hello again. We had to take a bit of a break in the recording there, because after I left Mechekmosis' spire, I spent two hours looking for this rotten blood crystal. It was awful. <laughs> you know, it was sort of fun at first, and then it sort of got a bit boring, and then it became anti-fun. And after two hours of not finding any, I gave up. But I was right in my determination that you have to use a spell to try and find this stuff. So there is a spell that doesn't cost you anything, which is good, called Detect Resources. So what I'm going to do is go looking again. And this time I'm armed with a bit of information. Because there's a YouTuber called Pixel Cave who's come up with a video that shows you some locations where this stuff should be found. So we're going to run through most of those, I think. Or at least we'll run through a few, try and get some blood crystals together, and then make ourselves a golem, hopefully. And then in future episodes, we can perhaps go looking for the other locations. Yeah, the way it appears to be set up is that the blood crystal is found in specific locations, but you're never quite sure if it's going to be there or not, so it's just pot luck. But we're going to go first up to a place called Fingerfang Rock which is quite near here. There we go. And in the harder locations you get golems defending the blood crystal and in other places you get rock donkeys. So anyway, let's get the guys together. Uh, you can follow. That's Bourbon. Here we go, here we go. There's Concord. We've got Concord with us. We've got Liam. Which I don't think I introduced last time. Yeah, Liam is a named fighter we captured. And uh, he's very powerful. Well, he's level 18 now. Gosh. And you've got what? That's the unintelligible. Okay, we've got some healing. That'll do. That'll do. You'll be fine, I'm sure. So we'll go to Fingerfang Rock first and see what we can find. And hopefully it won't be as frustrating as my last recording. Because I was going absolutely spare. <laughs> really, I was. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Come on then. Let's get going. It's not far. So this should be Fingerfang Rock ahead of us. And the idea is that we look for the underground crystal deposits, and then when you get close enough, the things leap out of the ground at you. So Fingerfang is, come on, just there. We've got this tiny little boss here. It's a bit embarrassing. On some scorpions. So let's get a bit closer. That is Fingerfang, I'm sure. Let's get some weapons up. Just deal with these critters. So yeah, the special blood crystal rock donkey looks a bit different. Right, let's get you. Come on, let's get this guy, please. Oh, I have to do everything myself. And you. Clear off. Good. Yeah, my stamina is terrible because I've got a more or less fully corrupted build. So I'm very poorly, though I can do good magic. See if we can summon up some demons. Come on, guys! Oh, blimey. I'm just clearing the ground. Just clearing the ground. Right, let's get the wand up. 
Are we done? Come on, Leon. Thank you. Right, the spell we want is on the left hand thing here. Legion. And make sure you get the right one, because the first one is reveal nearby corrupted objects. And we want this one, focus on rare resources. You're not yet sure. Oh, there we go. Look, there it is, look! Straight away, I don't believe it. That's crazy. Look, it's showing us. New Mountaineer. Okay, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's the new journey system, isn't it? Wow. So how do we get to it? That's brilliant. I've been looking for that so bloody long. I don't... Oh. It's hard to overestimate my joy at this point. How do I get to it now? What do I do? Ah! All right. Leon, Leon, get it. Get it. Get it. Kill. That's massive. That's huge! Good grief! That's amazing! <laughs> I'm impressed! I, I know it's only a big rock donkey, but still. And I've got a nice pick as well. I've got a very nice pick somewhere. Here we go. Let's grab that. How much blood crystal do we get? Oh, I've got 11. 13. Now, oh, hang on, we want to avoid him. He's a very nasty three skull boss. Now, my game is set to twice harvesting. So I'm picking up twice as much stuff as a regular person would. So anyway, that was Finger Fang Rock. I'll just check to see what the next location is. Right, I've had a look. We want to go to the den. Um, let's get the sword up. Get on here. We might as well ride past that boss. Give him a scare, eh? <laughs> It's just quicker as well. I mean, he won't chase us very far, I don't think. Oh, I don't know, though. Oops, okay, that was perhaps a little bit stupid. Let's go down here. All right, he's chasing us now. But the den's just over here. So we should be fine. But seriously, I spent two hours just running everywhere with that damn spell going. And the spell does not last very long. It lasts for about an hour. No, not an hour. What I'm talking about. It lasts for about a minute, if that. It's getting a bit dark. we got an eclipse coming on. Let's come off. Where's the sun? I can't... Oh, there it is. Look, look at the eclipse. This will make it much easier to see the red stuff. So let's get the spell going. You're not yet shot. Good, good. We're looking out, looking out for the red stuff. But I'm so pleased. Because the other thing is I'm quite badly colour blind. And I was concerned that I wouldn't be able to see the red stuff at all. Is that... That's just regular crap down there, isn't it? Oh, are we going to be lucky here? I think it's to the west of the den. There we go, look! Red stuff! Crazy! Right, let's go and find it. Let's get our thing up. So we have to get... Alright, you. Find your own blood crystal. <laughs> Clear off. Is it here? Oh, it's on the other side of that. So we've got to finish these guys off. Is Liam doing his business? You're doing what you paid for. Well, he is. Well done. Nice one. Alright, so there is a werewolf there. And a person. So get in there. Hack him up. Oh, come on. Damn it, I've got two werewolves. Oh, I've got a demon come down. Oh, a couple of demons come to help me. You get them, guys. There it is, look. Look, it must have appeared without me noticing. Right, let's kill it. Get it, get it, get it. Get it, demons. Where are the demons gone? Come on, guys. Excellent. Is that Leon? He isn't all, blimey. Well, we're on a roll here. This is brilliant. I'm very pleased. So I've got 32 blood crystal now. So let's look on the map. Well, let's go around the corner. Get out of harm's way. And then we'll look for the next one. We'll try and find a golem next, perhaps. Because there are golems in the unnamed city. I think we have to go down to the spawning pools. Where the baby dragons are. But I'll just consult my notes. 
Yep, it does look like it's the spawning pools. So this will be a tougher fight. If we head back to the unnamed city, it's just over here. So we'll go back home, essentially, and then go in the back door. Okay, so there's my base. I didn't really point it out on the map, did I? Should have been fairly obvious, though. So we're just down here. What we're going to do is go down here in the back door, and then the spawning pools are right there. So that should be fairly straightforward, I think. There's a boss scorpion up there we hate. We farm him quite a lot, actually. He's quite good for resources, but he's really tough. Scorpions are some of the worst bosses. So you've got this fella here and a couple of skeletal serpent men. Let's go through. Now, are we going to bother with you? Should we try and avoid them? Are they going to chase us? They probably will, won't they? Spawning pools are down there. So we're in baby dragon territory now. So we've got to be quite careful. There's a baby dragon here normally. There he is. Come out. What are you up to? Oh, they're all running back. I thought that was Leon over there, running towards the danger. But no, it's the other guy. So here are the spawning pools down here. I don't think we're going to be able to avoid running into a baby dragon. I mean, they're not terrible, but they're not pushovers. You're not get shot. And it's a good job these are free, because some of the spells you need pouches. There's a guy there. There's a mama over there, mama dragon. We don't like her. Damn. <laughs> Let's run around. Right, we've attracted attention, unfortunately. Leon's down there fighting the good fight. Oh, he's doing really well. He's doing brilliantly, in fact. Let's get a bit closer to this thing. Ooh. I'm not seeing anything at all. I don't want to get too close to it. It wouldn't be so close to that dragon, surely. Mind you, there is a location in the sinkhole right next door to the bloody dragon there, where you get blood crystal. So the game isn't above putting blood crystal next to huge bloody dragons. You see, this is what it was like. <laughs> Sorry to go on about it. But this is what it was like in my two hours. Just me traipsing around all over the bloody place with this spell going, not seeing anything at all. Okay, that's a shame. That's a shame. I won't do another one. We'll just write that one off. Where we're going to now is, get on the map, is down to the dregs. Just down here. Because there is apparently something just around there, more or less. And there's a few around here. There's quite a few, so we'll look at those next. So we're coming up to the dregs now. So we're just above them. The dregs should be down here. There we go. Uh, all right, let's calm down. Let's calm down. Don't break our necks. Yeah, but... Whoa! I said not break our necks. Let's not do that. That's very silly. Very silly girl. Let's go here. So it should be down here somewhere. Let's get off. Get our wand up. And I'm very pleased with the game in that all the time I've used the wand, it has not frozen once. So I will give the game that. I will give the game that. It's been very good. You're not get shot. Because it used to freeze every time I got the wand out, it seemed. I mean, not every time, but you know, one time out of three, it would freeze up. It was really irritating. Look out for the red stuff. Should be down here somewhere. Oh, there we go. Look, look, there it is. Look, on the right. Good, good, good. So there will be some locals to fight as well. Nice. Yeah, there's some people down there. Let's get close. Come on, guys. There we go. There we go. Um, 
Get out of it. There's a few of them, isn't there? Let's get the shield up. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh look, they're fighting. Come on, guys. It's nice of the locals to take down the rock donkey, isn't it? Come on, guys. Alright, there's a demon. Go on, demon, get in there. Go and punch him. That's it, that's it. <laughs> it's like tag team wrestling. Uh, all good. You know, Liam's going after the demon, typically. So I got 14 blood crystal out of that. Good, good. Super duper. I'll look at my notes. Right, I'm trying to decipher what I've written, and I think there's another one up here. So we'll go and check that out. Um, I might have to look at the video again, though, to make doubly sure of that one. So we've got to... Whoa, come on. Come round here and go up the way we came, essentially. No, not seeing anything. Let's have a look from here. Uh, what sort of range is on this thing, though? Right, it's finished. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Right, let's go. Let's find another one. Yeah, because we got to go to Shaman's Rise next. Which is just down here. Well, that's Howling Plateau. Cabin of Fiends. Where's the bloody Shaman's Rise, then? I thought it was around here. Right, I've got some pesky animals here. Let's deal with them. Because we are more or less at the right place. That's it, Mr. Demon. Sort them out. So they don't sort me out, honestly. He's so clumsy. Right, Shaman's Rise is there. So we're almost on it. Loads of hyenas around here. It's the main export of Shaman's Rise hyenas. Anyway, let us get spelling away. Good, good. Let's get on the horse. And I came here yesterday. I actually came here. And there it is, look! This wasn't here yesterday. I was riding around this place like crazy. Well, there we go, there we go. Come on, someone deal with him. I say someone, Liam, who deal with him. The horse isn't going to do anything. Blood crystal, got nine that time. Good, good, good. Okay, what's our next location? Well, I've had a quick look, and the next location is the Slave Road, which is just there. So it's quite a way away, but it's a route we've done loads of times. We just follow the river upstream. So let's get going. Oh, another eclipse coming on. They seem to be quite regular. I know we don't have night time anymore, but I don't know whether eclipses have completely replaced them. Because so they do seem to be more regular than the nighttime cycle. It's interesting, isn't it? And that spire of light over there. And is that a sandstorm coming down on us? Right, it's not an eclipse. <laughs> it's not an eclipse. It's a sandstorm, I think. Crap, have I got a sandstorm mask? I don't have a sandstorm mask. Crapola. Well, this is quite dangerous. Um, I've got nothing to... We've got to find a cave. Here we go. This is the Warren of Degenerates, I think. So we've got to hide in here until the sandstorm passes over. Why on earth don't I have a sandstorm mask? Crud! I thought it was another eclipse. Let's get down here till we're fully sheltered. There we go. Sandstorm! Thing is, I'm so used to playing on Sipta that I've completely forgotten about the bloody sandstorms. Crap. Well, that's definitely something for my to-do list. Because if this cave wasn't here, we'd be in trouble, really. Let's just wait it out. Right, that's the back end of the storm. It's passing now. Looks very impressive, doesn't it? That's crazy. Is that a thumbnail? That could be a thumbnail. <laughs> Shame we're in the gloom. Shame, can I get in the light a little bit? This could be better. Oh, bloody crocs, spawning my thumb. No, no, you see too much grass. Too much grass, too many crocodiles. That's nice though, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's carry on. So we're just coming out of the river valley. And the slave road is just here, more or less, I think. 
It's very close. Ooh, no, 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 no. Silly, silly. Don't do that. Let's go around here. What are you, slave road? Oh, there it is. <laughs> right, okay. That was easy enough, wasn't it? Check the map. Yeah, there we are. Um, I can't... Can I do magic on here? No, I can't. Let's have a good old look around. Yeah, this is quite fun. When you can f actually find something once in a while. This is very entertaining. It's going dark. Is that another eclipse? Can't be another sandstorm so quickly. Something over there. Oh, that's green stuff. That's just iron stone. This guy here, I forgot what his name is. But he tells you a story. He's Ulzan the something or other, I think. Let's ride up and down. No, that's it. That's it. I think we were seeing everything to be seen. So we were seeing all the ironstone and the coal. Where we've got to go now is where. Okay, well we're there. So the slave road is there. And we want to head for the ruins of Al something or other. Over here, the ruins of Al Merea. Which is quite close to Mech Spire anyway. Um, so let's do that. We just want to head in this direction. So Mech Spire is there. Just on the right, through the grass. And the ruins over here. And there's usually an elephant hanging about. So there's the elephant on the right. Trying to avoid him. Oh, there's another one there. Okay, well, this might be an elephant-rich environment in that case. Let's come off. Just have to do our best to avoid them. I don't know whereabouts it is. I've just got a note to say that it's near here. So we'll ride all the way around. Because the ruins are on this slight little, well, little outcrop on the left here. Oh, there's a caravan. I was told, on good authority, I thought, that there weren't going to be any of these caravans in this chapter. But they are here. Was it the sorcerers who disappeared in that case? No, nothing here. Ride round again. Shall I ride up here? Is that into the camp? Well, if you can't see it doing this, we're never going to see it, are we? Nope. Nothing there. Go back this way. Perhaps it's on the... Oh, look at this. Come on. It doesn't last very long. It's my only disappointment with the uh, the spell. Flegeth. You're not Geb Shug! Thanking you. Get up. I think, I think we're too far away from the ruins here. I don't think this is it. Also, if there was anything to be seen here, I think we would have seen it by now. Uh, anything down here? Jump down. Jump, jump. Oh, it does your eyes in after a bit. All this searching. Well, the elephant's gone crazy. We don't care. So we're picking up all the ironstone. No, I think this is a bust. So where we want to go now is a place called Death Whisper Ruins, which is in that direction. So it's not too far away. Let's come down here. Okay, so we've come down to the river, and we're just here. We're going to go past the Black Galleon, then make our way all the way down here to the Death Whisper ruins there. So that shouldn't take us very long, and it's an easy route in the water. So that's the Death Whisper place ahead of us there. There's another caravan. I don't believe it. How many caravans are there around here? Oh, don't, don't go over the edge of the cliff. Struth. Right, let's go around here. Damnation. Almost went off the edge then. So that's the entrance to the arena. Which is good, because we want to go to the sinkhole. 
in a few moments and see if we can find a golem down inside the sinkhole. But that would involve tangling with a very nasty undead dragon. So here's the ruins, just to our left. There's going to be loads of spiders around here, but we don't care. And from memory... Okay, down here. Oh, bloody hell, we're really high up, aren't we? I didn't realise we were up here. I thought we were down there. Go around here. Yeah, I think the blood crystal is on the other side. Let's jump. Whoa. Can I get through here? No. Oh, oh yeah, no, 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 I can't, no. Let's go around. Um, jump down there. Again. Should be on the other side here. Yeah, there's a gap. Oh, there's spiders. There's spiders. There's a gap here. This is it. This is the gap. Right, so Leon, you keep a watch out for spiders. Get shot! Are you going to see anything? I'm pretty sure it's this gap. Or is it on the other side? Oh, this might be a bit small. No, <laughs> okay. I don't think it is that. I think we've got to go over here. Lots of rambunctious people over here. Come on, come on, come on, don't do that, don't do that. Silly. Around here? Look at all this. Horrible spiders. Oh, crap! Okay, attack from the rear. That wasn't pleasant. Uh, we got to go right round these ruins. I think we probably do. Uh, what's in there? That's all the crystal, I suppose, is it? Well, let's come out. Right, let's keep looking. Now, I want to get up there, I think. I want to get up there and look down. Ah, uh, And I think, yeah, because we got the materials, let's get that spell going again. And then we'll summon a bat. And let's see if we can have the two spells. Like it running simultaneously. You're not get shot. So that's detect resources. Come on, do it again. Do it again, quick, before we run out. The middle one. That one. Bat. Uh, escalate. Is that? Yeah, bat, bat, come on. Hurry, hurry. Hurry, go on. There we go, there we go, there we go. Lovely. Now, can we see from up here anything going on? Should have thought this earlier, actually. Is there anything? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Aerial surveying. Can't be beat. Damn. Well, nothing sticks out, does it? Nothing sticks out. Ah. Uh, can we get down here? Go up. Oh, look at the damage I did. It's terrible, really. <laughs> Indeed. Um. No! Oh, crap. What I meant to do was do this. Ah, uh, let's call it up again. Oh, I think we would be seeing it if it was here. What's that down there? That's is that that's green stuff, isn't it? That's not. Damn. Ooh. Down here. And again. Okay, don't kill yourself. No, I think we've locked out. And I think. Sully's Ambush, okay, nice. A new location, that's brilliant. Let's go around here. I do think, is it, is it back here? Uh, it's like a gap. There's a gap between 
the stonework of the ruins and the natural stone. But I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. I think it must have been in here. This looks like it, to be honest with you. That, that niche there. Okay, now we'll call this one a bust. Let's move on. Yeah, so what we'll do now is go to the sinkhole. Not looking forward to this because it's a very dangerous place. But we'll see what we can see. So we're getting close. The sinkhole is just over this rise. Here we go. Ugh. And I've built myself a lift to get down there. Although it's not really a place I enjoy visiting, frankly. Sort out these hyenas. Get you, please. Come on. Get you. Uh, if I did the spell from up here, would we see the red stuff? Where's the rotten dragon? There's the rotten dragon. Oh. Let's get going. Can we see anything down there? <laughs> I think we have to be down there in the action, don't we, really? Let's run around here. See if we can peek down from here. These things are going to attack us, but... Ow! Leon! Just get them, please. Oh, okay, okay, I'll help, I'll help. Damn, it's a waste of a spell. Put down there. Oh, I'm not seeing any sign of it. The thing is, I don't think it's worth going down there. Unless I'm sure there's going to be something to grab. But it'll be too far away to see anything. That's the puzzle, isn't it? Are we too far away? I mean, what I could do is go down partly in the lift. We can always come back up again, put it in reverse. That's probably a very good idea. Here we go. Let's get this going down. Follow cannot move there. I don't want it to move anywhere, thank you. I want to look down here. We don't want to get too close to the bottom, though. Bollocks to hell. Not seeing anything. That dragon is going to work. There it is! There it is! Damn it. Okay, okay, okay. This is bad. Yeep. Run over here. Run over here. Right, there it is, down there. Right, Leon's coping. Um, this is going to be a big old monstrosity, I think. Where are you? Here he is. Look at him. Crap. Are you going to attack? Don't attack me. You're going to throw things at me. Come on. I can't see his health. Right, he's a one skull. He's not too bad, is he? I think I could take him on. Leon is over there managing. Let's get you. That's it, that's it, demon. Lean is not coping very well at all. Uh. Right, what's that? I died? Oh no, the bloody dragon came for me. Okay, um, let's get to my bed. Damn it, well the dragon is at least killing the golem. Bollocks. I took my eyes off the dragon, it came round and it murdered me. Well, yeah, the dragon might have murdered the golem. So we can go back and have a look at least, can't we? Okay. Killed by the undead dragon. Oh, my bed's here, is it? Right, this is my northern base. I didn't know my bed was here. Um. Oh, well, let's go downstairs. Have I got... I don't think I've got a... Oh, of course I do. I do have a stone here somewhere. Yeah, I've got a sorcerer's tower that I built. So we'll have to go over there. Oh, oh it's looking all very dead here, isn't it? Jeez. Damn! That's better. So, yeah, there's my sorcerer's tower. And I do have a summoning stone there. Or a circle of power, whatever it's called. 
this place there we go here we go yeah this place is a bit of a folly frankly there we go my summoning stone so I want to summon my corpse thank you very much Good, good, good. Let's get your stuff going. Nice. And then we will go upstairs because I've got a transportery stone up there. Excellent. So now we go to our desert base. Not well, not a proper desert base. Stop that. Um, we want to go to the one near the sinkhole. It's not it. Not it. Yeah. Oh, yog, yog. There we go. That's in my yog base. Right, here's my yog base. Look at all the bloody corruption I got. Crap. Um, okay, I've got to go over here and get some of this cleared by dancers, and I do have dancers here. So here's my yog shrine. Here's some dancers. Hopefully they can do something about this. Right, I'm entertained. I, yeah, I think it takes a while for this taint to wear off, though. Oh dear. Um. Well, while we're waiting for that, we can find out where Leon and Concord went. Okay, well, according to this, they're both still in the sinkhole, which isn't very good news. Um, oh, come on, hurry up. Here we go, here we go. So, losing corruption. That's it, well, I don't think they can do any more than that, can they? I've just got to repair on my own. So let's run over to the sinkhole and see what we can do. So really, I'm just concerned about getting Lynn and the horse out of there, really. Because I don't think we can have much chance to retrieve any blood crystal that might have been dropped by that golem. Let's get these guys off. And again, and again. We'll call up the lift. I've seen no signs of Leon and the horse dying. Get that up. Get on. The dragon is down there. Is that Leon over there? I think that's Leon over there. And I think that might be the body of the golem over there as well. Ooh, this is very interesting. Okay. Well, Leon might have recovered fully in that case. I can see Concord as well. Damn. Righty-ho. Um, let's give this a go. Let's give it a go. Let's get that pick up. Because <laughs> we really have no chance of fighting that bloody dragon, do we? So we just have to avoid the dragon, get to the golem, chop it up. Can I evade you? Oh, bollocks to hell! Right, quick! No! <laughs> Bedroll this time, please. Bedroll. Well, let's do all that again. And now, rather... Have I got my stuff? Yeah. Rather than use a transportery stone, which is quite a burden on the old uh, corruption, which I'm even corrupted now, look. Um, we will take... Where we go? Yeah, we will take an obelisk. There. Let's get going. Right. Ah. Uh, crap. The thing is, if we try it again, the same thing will happen, won't it? So we've got to go in the door, which is over there. That's a pain. Look at all the corruption I've got. It's ridiculous. <sighs> okay, well, let's just cope. Let's just deal. So if we do this again, we're just going to have to kill the dragon first. And then get to the golem. Uh. So we've got to run past loads of skeletons. And a few snakes. And some skeletal serpent men. But I haven't got the stamina to do it. Oh, this is awful. We might have to wait it out again. Wait for this taint to wear off. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm a sorceress. What on earth am I doing? Are oh, you stupid bastard. Quick, go back, go back. 
I can't believe I didn't think of this. I can turn myself invisible. <laughs> I'll just turn myself invisible. Right, losing corruption. Thank goodness for that. Good, good. Yeah, and that's it. Job done. Because once I'm down there, I can easily avoid the dragon. Oh, they've respawned. I think we're okay here. Let's get this up again. There we go. They're minding their own business for the time being. Are they? Yeah. Let's get this up. I have to remind myself how to make myself invisible, though. Um, from the edge of do not that one. Wheel of Light, no, not that. Demons. Oh, there we go. Trick the yeah. senses. Trick the senses. Conceal, escalate. Light. And then, Splinter Soul. Right, unable to be seen. There we go. Nice, excellent. So we just got to hurry up. Oh, crap! What happened then? Oh, you fucking bastards. I hate you. Oh, you. What's the. Ma Why can't I use the bloody lift? Oh, rat. Right, run away. Get some stamina back. Let's just kill these gits. Alright, they're both dead. Right, let's go back. I mean, the, the trick will work. For some reason, you can't be invisible on an elevator, of all things. But, we'll go in that entrance. We'll go in the side entrance, turn ourselves invisible there, avoid the skeletons. Then we will go up in the lift again. Right, the game cannot object to that, surely. So here we go. This is like the proper entrance to the sinkhole. There's entrances on either side. I used to think that was the entrance in there, stupidly. It's guarded by a massive snake. But what we want to do is go through here. Ah, right, let's get the wand up. Invisible! There we go. Oh, I do like that. And then we can just run in here. As long as we don't interact with anything. I think that's the issue. I think it's interacting with things. So let's run. There's a skeleton. You can't see me or smell me or hear me, Mr. Skell. Right, let's be careful. Down here. It's just straight ahead. Oop. And there should be a skeletal serpent man somewhere, but... Yeah, there he is on the left. Let's go. Can't remember how long this lasts. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Along here. And up here, look at this, we're in there. Where's Mr. Bastard Dragon? Mr. Bastard Dragon, he be there. As long as we keep to the edges, we should be okay. As long as we keep to the edges. All right, we've got these fellas. I want to find that golem. Where's that naughty old golem? Is he over there? No, that's the horse. <laughs> it's not a golem. I can't remember where the golem was. The golem's probably dematerialised by now, hasn't he? That's what he's probably done. Well, it's lasting a good old time. Okay, well, I can get the guys following. That will mean interacting, though. Right, don't you dare shoot him. Oh, they're shooting at the horse. Okay. Um, get you following. All right, yeah. I didn't turn visible. Get you following too. Just run back out here. The dragon is none the wiser, it seems. Oh, the lift's up there, is it? Damn. Right, I daren't call the lift. We're just going to run out this way. We <laughs> don't call the bloody lift. This is going to run out soon, I'm sure, but we'll be okay. Right, let's run for a little bit. Let's run. I'm amazed the invisibility is lasting this long. Very grateful. 
Very grateful, game. Thank you, game. Indeed. Just through here. Right, Liam's causing all sorts of mayhem behind us. We're just taking it nice and steady. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. Let's run now. Not so steady. Not so steady. And we are free. Home free. Gosh, well, that spell lasted a long, long time, didn't it? Okay. Well, that was a partial success. At least we got the guys out alive. Where are you? Come on, Leon. Let's get going. Let's go back home. Here we go. Here's the Yog base. Let's take the elevator up. Have a bit of a rest. I want to sort my armour out as well. What crappy armour am I wearing? What is this stuff? Come on. Which is what? Come on, I can't move the thing. Yes, medium armour. Why am I wearing that? And I'm wearing the bracelet of the Mad Prophet for some reason. And the sandals of the Mad Prophet. Um, yeah, I can't remember why I chose that. <laughs> I cannot remember. Okay, perhaps a rethink required there. Certainly no good against damn dragons, is it? Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed that. In the next episode, we shall try and build a golem. And we might look at some more of these locations, because I've been enjoying that, looking about. And we've covered most of the desert locations. There's just a couple more that we need to do. But there's also locations out in the jungle, and in the cold north, and up in the snow. So anyway, hope to see you again for the next episode. And until I do see you again, I shall say goodnight.